Hi, I'm Jane, an Alto pharmacist specializing in fertility. I'm here to walk through injecting your fertility medications. We'll go through several steps together, so stay tuned. Always make sure your hands are washed and you're working on a clean, flat surface. Let's begin. The Gonal F RFF ReadyJet pen comes in three different sizes. It comes in a 300 IU, 450 IU, and a 900 IU pen. Make sure you're using the right pen size. Inside each box is a single pen and several single-use pen needles. For this injection, you will need one Gonal F pen, one new pen needle, a few alcohol swabs, a sharps container, and sterile gauze or tissue is optional. All right, let's get started and review the anatomy of the Gonal F RFF ReadyJack pen. There is a removable pen cap, a threaded needle connector where the pen needle is attached, a clear reservoir where the medication is stored, a dose information display where your dose will be displayed, and a dose knob used to inject the medication. Before we get started, there are a couple of things I wanted to review with you. Examine your pen. Make sure the pen is not expired. Do not use the pen if there are cracks in the plastic reservoir, or if the solution is cloudy and contains particles. If you see anything, call your provider or an Alta pharmacist for next steps. Now that we have reviewed the pen, let's get started. Remove the cap. You might need to pull pretty hard. You won't break it, don't worry. And clean the pen tip with an alcohol pad. Take out a new pen needle, peel off the seal, and push the needle straight onto the clear plastic end of the pen. Twist the needle until you can't twist it anymore, but do not screw the needle on too tightly. It will become difficult to remove later. Remove the outer needle cap and put it aside. You will use this later to remove the needle after your injection. With the needle pointing up, carefully remove the green inner needle shield and throw it away. Turn the dose knob in a clockwise direction to your prescribed dose. You should see your dose in the dose display. For example, if your dose is 150 IU, you should turn the dose knob until you see the number 150 in the display window. If you turn past your dose, don't worry, you can turn the dose knob counterclockwise back to your dose. Once you've dialed your dose, you are ready for your subcutaneous injection. Today, I'll be showing you how to inject to the abdomen because it's the most common location for subcutaneous injection. However, you should check with your doctor or nurse before injecting to ensure you're injecting at the prescribed location. You should inject at or below the level of the belly button, roughly one to two inches away from the navel. Try not to inject directly below the navel because that area is very vascular and can lead to bleeding and bruising. You should also rotate your injection sites to decrease discomfort. The easiest way to hold the Gonal F pen is to hold it like you're gripping something with your fingers. Leave your thumb free to press on the dose knob. Clean the injection site with an alcohol pad and allow the area to air dry. Gently grasp a two inch fold of skin with your thumb and index finger at the injection site with your non-dominant hand. Insert the entire length of the needle in one swift motion at a 90 degree angle and press down on the dose knob as far as it will go with your thumb. Once you've depressed the dose knob all the way down, count slowly to five. After five seconds, release the pinch skin. Remove the needle from your skin by pulling straight out at a 90 degree angle and release the dose knob. Do not release the dose knob until you remove the needle from your skin. This important step prevents any backflow of fluid or blood into the pen reservoir. After your injection, check the dose display. It should read zero. This ensures you've received the full dose. If the dose display does not read zero after your injection, document that number. 
This means there was not enough medication in the pen to deliver your full dose. The amount shown in the dose display is what you will need to inject with a new Gonalev pen to complete your dose. Repeat these steps with a new pen for dose completion. There may be minor bleeding, bruising, or redness around the injection site. You might also see a drop of liquid come out of the injection site after you pull the needle out. All of this is common and should not be of any concern. If you did receive the full dose, recap the pen needle with the outer pen cap. The safest way to do this is to lay the outer needle cap on your table and scoop up the cap with your pen like so. This will reduce the chances of a needle stick. Once attached, you can twist the cap counterclockwise to remove the used pen needle and discard it into the sharps container. Recap the pen. It is now ready to be stored until your next dose. Let's talk about storage. When the pen is brand new, it can be stored in the refrigerator until the expiration date or at room temperature for up to three months or until the expiration date, whichever occurs first. After the first injection, the pen can be stored in the refrigerator or at room temperature for up to 28 days. If you choose to store your pen in the refrigerator, you can let the pen sit at room temperature for up to 30 minutes before your injection to allow it to warm up. This can help to reduce injection discomfort. You're done. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, visit Alta.com to get in touch with an Alta pharmacist.